Randolph Lashley, a cash crop farmer from Etimazurk, is angry because of his neighbor's actions. He has lost thousands of dollars. According to Lashley, his neighbor knowingly hired someone to spray his crops with poison. Someone tell us about guy to spray the yard, I to spray the yard, and he spray the fence and damage all my crop alongside the fence. Right? I go to the station and I complain to the police. The police asked me if I was home when the, the fella spread the yard. I said the morning when I leave home, I go to do business at Perico. I leave him in the yard spring, but he wasn't long, so the fence at the time. So I while he's doing the business, I get a call. My wife called me and told me that they buy spring the fence. So I asked her if the spray coming over, she said yes. So when I come, I meet the fella spring the fence. Lashley Fordham made reports to the police and Nari, which estimated the damage of his cash crops. I got the photograph. From the photograph, I go to Nari. Nari come. They take out the photograph of the place. They tell me they give me a call. They call me, I go back. When I go back, they give me the certificate to get back to the station. The, the value of the greens and the crop the damage. Despite this evidence no. against his neighbor, his neighbor decided to flip the script. He does many things to me and I just, you know, let go. So, how much more I must tolerate? How much more? What next? I don't know. My neighbor never get arrested. The call she station, she start tell a lot of lies that I poison the police. I jump she yard, I say I can kill she and burn down shows. The police ask her if she have her, if she have her any report record record about that. She said no. She decided to get around. She decided to chase out the room. She go outside. They take a statement from me. They take a statement from she. And for instance, then I carry on this this thing because I losing. However, Lashley's neighbor is denying such claims. The guy that spray the yard, not me. Um, the guy spray right through. Honestly speaking, just a little spill there at the end of the, of the fence there, the guy did not spray his yard. When first confronted about the spraying of the crops, Mrs. Williams claimed that the man she hired didn't spray a lot of poison. However, she soon changed her statement. She then denied ever making the original claim. Honestly speaking, I didn't do it and I know the guy did not do it, it's just a little spill. And he came to the station because of January incident. I asked the officer if he wanted money, he said no. I don't know what he want out of me. He said that he, um, yes, he's showing he wants you to pay the cost for his crops, which is over $7,000. How much? Which is over $7,000. He has the papers from Nari. But honestly speaking, the guy did not spray his plant. He already reaped this thing and they're dying out. However, Lashley is willing to settle the matter once his neighbor pays the cost for the damaged crops. I will try to end the story, but the woman do not want to pay the 7000 She said, I want to pay my rent with the 7000 This is what she's telling, telling people in the area, that I want to pay rent. It's a whole month rent I, 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 I to take from she. So I never tell the police I want to go to court. If she tell the police they want to go to court at the station. However, both parties will be going to court to have their matters heard. For Channel 2 Headline News, Esther Sobers. Thanks for watching Headline News. Leave a like or a comment below. And for updates on the latest news happening in Guyana, click the subscribe button.